Hey there guys, and welcome back to LEGO Star Wars. Floating Yoda Head greets you. Time for Chapter 2, Episode 3, Chancellor in Peril. High above the planet, Coruscant, a deadly battle rages between Separatist forces and the Army of the Republic. On the Separatist flagship, Count Dooku and General Grievous hold Chancellor Palpatine captive. Crashing their Jedi Starfighters into the main hangar, Obi-Wan and Anakin are surrounded by hostile droid forces. Oh boy! Lots of slashing. Uh, wait, didn't they already land the... Ah, oh, Obi-Wan, don't get airsick. Is that a thing, airsick? I know you can get carsick and you can get seasick, but can you get airsick? I guess. Anyway, there's General Grievous. Who does not appear at this point in the movie. No, they said they see him on the bridge of the control ship. Rather than the first bloody hallway they go into. Anyways... Now we're playing as Anakin with a mullet. Kind of the mullet Obi-Wan had in episode 2. Guess he gave that to Anakin. And Obi-Wan now has shorter hair and a badass beard. Oh yeah, I like badass beards. Uh, let's see, we need to do something... Oh no, those just give you coins. I don't really remember this stage particularly well. It's been ages since I played this one and it never really was one of my favorites. I feel it was way too long and confusing and whatever anyway there's just a bunch of droids here just slash him nothing you shouldn't be come like acquainted to by now and why would they put an R2 panel there when we don't have R2 with us and what's strange is R2 was actually with them at this point in no wait he wasn't R2 was supposed to stay with the ship yeah that was it. Anyway, I'm not gonna fight those droids, I'm getting the hell out of there. Bye-bye, Obi-Wan. And there he is again. Obi-Wan decided to wise up and follow me. But crap, here come the droid cuz. Obi-Wan, will you just help me for once? You just stand there and block stuff. That's not what a lightsaber is for. Just get over here and whack those droids with me. Just kill them all. Why can the lightsaber only hit one at a time, unless you're doing... The double jump aerial attack. I mean, seriously, it's going right through him sometimes and just doesn't hit him. Anyway, droids are... Oh, hey, there's R2. You're not staying with the ship, R2. Anyway, he did come at the right time. R2, open up that thingy. The elevator. Ooh, mini kit. Alright, I guess that's a nice bonus. And, wait, R2. I don't want Obi-Wan. I want R2. Well, that's a 3PO panel, but... We don't have 3PO with us. So I guess that's for free play. And what's in here? Some kind of device. Oh, we can use the force on it to blow it up. Oh, sure, vandalism. Well, we are on the enemy flagship, so I guess destroying everything is good. Although we're in space with no means of escape. Because the starfighters are broken. Anyways... Just cruising through the ship's interior. There's another mini kit there. That one's just hidden in plain sight. I mean, could they just attempt to put in any effort to hide those? And there's another one over there, but I think you need a high jumping character to get up there. Like Jar Jar, so again, that's for bonus play. Would be pretty freaking funny if Jar Jar was piloting a starfighter into the space battle, though. Hilarity would ensue. I mean, hell, the guy's barely capable of walking on his own two feet, let alone st piloting a starship. Anyway, get rid of the droidica. And R2, get that door open. Because I'm pretty sure the Chancellor's in there. Alright, let's go. Chancellor, we are here to help you. And he has no feet. That is weird, but Dooku shows up. Time for round two. With Anakin's new robot hand, with which Dooku sliced off at the end of episode 2. Uh, yeah, this time there's also a whole bunch of battle droids here to help him out, and he'll pull off the same tag team crap that Darth Maul did. And I think Dooku did it as well in the previous duel against him. Uh, you're not gonna run up there. But at least that kinda gets me away from the... Oh, never mind. More super droids show up. Great, Obi-Wan, get over here, I can't... Play tag if you don't get over here. Alright, he only has two hearts remaining. This should be pretty easy. Just get rid of all the droids for now, because they are really getting on my nerves. Get 
out of here. Uh, how am I not hitting that thing? Seriously, this game has one of the worst hitboxes ever. Oh well, that one's down. Anakin, get rid of him. Well, he's not even slashing, he's just blocking him. Jeez, the AI partners are so retarded. I mean, how hard can it be to make good AI? Apparently, for most games I've played, it's pretty damn hard. Oh well. Because usually most AI assistants you have tend to be rather stupid. Alright, Dooku. You're done. Ow. Okay, you killed Obi-Wan. Grab the tag, and hit him. There we go. Oh, my hand. Payback, bitch. And off-screen kill. That almost makes it more gruesome. Alright, Chancellor's with us. Uh, let's get out of here. Um, wait. Where's the Chancellor? Uh, what am I doing wrong here? Okay. Is this a glitch or something? Did I mess up somehow? Let's go back up to the uh, dual room. See what's going on. I mean, this is the way we're supposed to take, right? Oh, there's the Chancellor. Okay, then... Where do we go? And the Chancellor is kind of... Okay, let's go in here. Uh... Oh crap, looks like I really did it now. Crap, and I can't restart from checkpoint either. Okay, uh... This sucks. How do I get out of this mess? I mean, I'm... The character I'm controlling is the Chancellor, and yet he's not here. Uh... How am I gonna get myself out of this one? Do I have to restart the frickin' game? Wait, of course, I'll plug in a second controller. And just... No. It's not plugged... I am plugging it in. Ah, uh, Maybe we need to blow on it first, because it's been lying in the dust for quite a while. Anyways... Alright, should be working... Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, go back in here. Now I can play again. The second player can drop out. Okay, so we don't need to go into that room. So then where the hell do we go? Wait, maybe up there. Yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, that gave me quite a scare there. Oh, well. It's always... I'm pretty sure you guys always love to see me mess... Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that thing? I don't remember the burning wall chasing them. Or is that perhaps the elevator going down? But that would mean we're walking on the walls rather than falling. Or was the ship turned sideways at this point in the movie? I guess it's the only answer I can give. Anyways, let's go. Still have to get out of this stage. <laughs> Oh crap, spouts with hot steam. That's gonna be bad. Luckily, the switches are always easy to turn off with the force. Is there anything the force cannot do? Uh, crap. Well, apparently R2-D2 can just fly right through the steam and not suffer any damage from it. Although I'm pretty sure steam is also pretty... Per causes damage to machines as well. I know you need to flip that little ramp there for R2 and the Chancellor to get over because they can't double jump. Yeah. The Chancellor is a jack shit worthless character. He can only jump. That's it. Can't do anything else. Anyway, where are we now? Oh look, it's General Grievous and his bodyguards. Sweet. Alright, Grievous. Fight. No, he just sends his bodyguards after us. Oh, crap. Lightsabers, let's go. And Grievous just... I'm getting out of here. I don't want to bother with you guys. Later. So, yeah, take out the guards, who are pretty much like lightsaber bosses. But they're common enemies. 
and they don't have lightsabers. They have some kind of weird staff that is made of lightsaber resistant material so they can block it. Yeah. Some kind of bullshit logic. I don't really get it either. And they can even fight if you slice their head off. Uh, that's also kind of a weird part in the movie. Because in the movie at this, like on the bridge fight scene, Obi-Wan cuts off the head of one of those bodyguard droids and it still continues on fighting. However, later on he encounters another one, pretty much slices its head off and it stops working. So, what, only specific? Exactly, like specific specimens of those bodyguard droids can fight on if their head's gone? I guess that's the only logical explanation or just a plot hole. But the ship's going down! Oh crap. Just brace yourself, no seat belts or whatever. And I'd hate to be the person that owns that runway, because it's gonna look like crap after that giant ship wrecks it up. I know everyone's feeling sick, he needs a barf bag. But Sam Jackson is always there to rescue them. Alright, we get Obi-Wan Episode 3. And Anakin Jedi. Uh, I thought it was a Jedi before. And Chancellor Palpatine, who we will never ever use again because he's completely useless. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next part of LEGO Star Wars. And I have no clue what that mini kit is. Bye bye.